Because I think this is one thing that I, after the new government of Sheikh Hasina took over, this is what we are trying to do. Thank you for telling me those short questions are the most pertinent. To create a positive or the real picture of today's Bangladesh. Arthur did a very good one when we said ZDF was the producer, I saw that. and RJ did a very good one yeah. in May this year. I have a copy of that, and you will be happy to know I got it. I do not say I translated it, but I made a presentation on 22nd August at the uh, uh, Commerce, what do you call it? Ministry of Commerce compound in Germany, and made a projection of that. Though it was not produced by Bangladesh government, produced by RJ, the German you know, filmmaking yes. company, but it was a very positive one. We need to prepare or manufacture more of them. Yeah. This is where I agree that we are lacking, but we can't do it ourselves because so many languages in the world, and we need your help to reach the people at large. With the real picture of today's Bangladesh, not of 1972 or 1980, now we have uninterrupted democracy for almost 20 years from 1991. We have all these developments taking place regularly. Now, if you, if you help, please contact us. I will exchange, I will be in touch with you. We will provide you with CDs and latest data if you want to go to Bangladesh, quick visa if you want to meet people there, if you want an agent who will take you around, Chamber of Commerce, the media, that we can make, you, make available. They were not there in 1972, but we have all of them. And many of their CEOs have studied abroad, so they have a positive aspect. Thank you. I would like to add one more question. Uh, Please. During my, my first visit to Bangladesh, I met, I met many people in the, the export processing zones, and they all uh, from abroad and told me it's a great country for producing um, whatever they're producing, many different goods. But the lack of infrastructure and the long, uh, the, sh the sh actually short distance, but the long way to the port and the uh, port by itself, uh, are the biggest challenge for them with a very long uh, distribution and so on. And then uh, the second visit, I learned about a vision or a dream or a part of it that um, due to the location uh, between Bang uh, between India and Myanmar, uh, this whole corner. <laughs> And there is no port city, no big port city. Mm -hmm. You have the vision to have a big uh, international port hub like yeah, yeah. Singapore is now, or maybe a little bit smaller, but uh, a port for the whole region. And I've read there is a big project coming up, a uh, protein port, a new yeah, port. Yeah, I'm going to mention. And uh, I would like to, yeah, to learn a little bit what is the Absolutely. State and what are your... Um, Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, thank you. I actually covered just through one line. Uh, in my presentation, there was one mention, maybe you missed it, or we were not here. Uh, actually, we have a problem with the port city because we have only one big port stuck on port. But we, from the Pakistan time, when we were part of Pakistan, we started a second port, a smaller port called Mangla Port in the district of Khulna. Now we are developing that as the second big port. At that time, it was only used for selling jute and jute products. Now for everything, we are developing that port. And finally, that you have said very correctly, that deep sea bed port. In the deep sea, we are going to have, like Morocco and many other countries have, a very, very big port for the business, for people who come to the high seas to business with their vessels and everything, and whatever they bring to Bangladesh. So that is in the making. Very soon you will, because planning and everything going on, very soon there will be declaration that that will be the third port and it will be a big, big one, like the second big uh, seaport there, like we're driving Morocco near Tangier, Sandeto. So that we are going to do, three ports now, not only one. You will say, without big uh, highways, how are you doing it? No. When you first time visited Bangladesh, we didn't have actually completed, at that time we hadn't completed actually all the big highways. But now you will find, I mentioned you must, you know, Six lane city, uh, sorry, six lane highway from Dhaka to Chittagong. It was only two lane. So that problem that uh, your friends in the EPZ were facing next to Dhaka, sending their goods produced to Chittagong will be no more when there will be six lane. It was just, you, have, you know, two lane. That is already in construction. I think it will be finished by next year, 2011. So that is there. And another thing, 
we have just signed an agreement for free movement of freights from India to Bangladesh to different destinations, especially from Indian companies to Chittagong. Mm -hmm. This has just been signed just after Sheikh Hasina came to power in January this year. Huh? Transit facility for Indian companies, as well as if you extend it a little further for Bhutan and Nepal, both the countries are landlocked countries. So there will be more and more trading activities going on using Bangladesh. But, you know, there are people for and against, you know, too much excess, but ultimately you have to open, like you have done in Europe. So Sheikh Hasina has taken this very magnanimous step with the help of the Indian government, but it is still to come into fruition. At least the first step has been taken, they can. But we are going beyond that. As you mentioned about Myanmar, there is a place called near the border of Myanmar, inside China, called Kunming. Have you heard the name Kunming? It is the capital of the Yunnan province. And if you want to do massive business with China, and Bangladesh always enjoys a total volume of more than 3 billion US dollars. So if you may want to make it 12 or 20 billion, this is the way. Why? From that border city of China, you can just bring just construct a road to the port city of Chittagong over Myanmar. But Myanmar is not rich. They are wanting us to finance it. And we are trying to put the money together and convince Myanmar that when they give the transit, they will also earn a lot from that facility of using that. But, you know, they will take money and everything for giving permission to use the road. And we will build the road to get the business of China. Not only that China will do business with us, they will export through the Chittagam port city to the world. You understand my point? And it is only 80 plus kilometer, not 800 kilometer. You understand? So when we open up, in, with India, we have already done the agreement. If we can strike this with China and Myanmar, from both the sides, we can get a lot of business through excess, since they are massive markets. 1.1 billion people live in India. 1.35 billion people live in China. We are 162 million. Just combine that volume. How big is the market? And then you are using the facility of our ports to access the world. Mm -hmm. And if you have the deep sea port in the next five years, then the world will come to you. These are our dreams. And I just wanted to share with you all this information. But we will have to go gradually because we need the capital, the planning, and the agreements. But it is already in, within the vision of Sheikh Hasina and Bangladesh. Thank you. Great. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank all the uh, speakers that were here today and, and our guests uh, to, to come and, and see it. We're a little bit over time, but um, the coffee area is now open for a coffee. And uh, we have a finance uh, forum coming up very soon, too. So, In one minute. In one minute. There you go. <laughs> coffee will take 45 seconds. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.